swelling mosses stripped that precious dew as the first rays of sunlight kissed the forest. The sounds of red howler monkeys broke the stillness of the morning as they communicated with each other. A rufous-tailed jacamar caught a passing insect and returned to her original perch in a remarkable few seconds of time. The insect communities were not to be outdone as they commenced an early call for rain. On the forest floor, a colored peccary rested after a night of foraging. Members of the reptilian kingdom also sought repose. And, as always, faithfully always, the stream flowed merrily along, gurgling around and over small stones, cascading over large backdrops, and spreading out silently to course over a sandy bed. Robel is a talented man, renowned for gathering seeds and other raw material from the forest to create jewelry and ornaments to ply his trade in the tourism industry. Hi, my name is Robo. I go to the forest to collect seeds and other material to make jewelry and ornaments for the tourists. In other words, I use the forest to make souvenirs and this is what makes people happy. Ficus is the herbalist of the village. Each morning he goes into the forest to collect specific roots and leaves to brew his healing potions. My name is Ficus. I am the old man for the village. I use my knowledge of the plants in the forest to help people with various ailments. I can tell you that the forest has a cure for everything. Like this root, for example, good for snake oil. Hikers appreciate the true beauty of the forest, its waterfalls and enticing bathing pools, its shady canopy where avian species flourish, its understory where fauna roam freely. In their pristine state are tropical forests where the lower mountain, semi-deciduous, swamp or littoral nurture the lives of those dependent on them. Sadly though, much of our forests are being lost to man's continuing quest for more land area. Quarrying, logging and slash and burn are some of the major contributors to the devastation of the lush greenery we have come to love and know so well. As a result, wildlife habitats across the country are being lost at an alarming rate, and our water sources are in turn becoming severely depleted. However, there is hope for a brighter tomorrow. Educational projects that instill awareness among communities have begun to show results in the attitudes of users of the bounty of the forest. People are beginning to feel a certain measure of pride in the natural resources around them and are themselves spearheading preservation and conservation initiatives to protect the forest in their respective areas. Reforestation of badly denuded areas, the building of check dams and guided tours by persons who hitherto took our natural treasures for granted are some of the measures that are being adopted to preserve what's left of our forests. You can't help but wonder how much of our forests and its mysteries still remain untapped. We know that our forests have proven to be valuable medicinal reservoirs when we look at the survival techniques exercised by our indigenous peoples. Surely their vast knowledge of how to make sustainable use of their natural resources must be emulated by today's peoples. As our ancestors have demonstrated, to live in harmony with the forests of our land is to ensure that a life-supporting legacy is protected for the benefit of future generations. We are indeed proud to help preserve our forests. Born into the green, so fine, so proud. So proud, claiming the green as mine. So proud, so proud, so proud.